channel and today I know you're probably like I already did a high crust video but this one because of one of my co-workers she is allergic to gluten I'm going to make a gluten free high crust um, this is like kind of similar to my original pie crust video but there's things added that I think is just weird but it's for a better tasting gluten-free crust because I remember the first time I used gluten-free flour I was making sugar cookies a couple years ago and it did not turn out great it was literally like a chalky feeling so hopefully with this recipe um, I'm gonna say this is not my recipe um, I forget whose original recipe this is but I will leave that link down below in the description but um, yeah so we're gonna move on in a bowl I have a cup and a half of gluten-free flour a teaspoon of salt and about two tablespoons, no, two tea, no, it is two tablespoons of sugar, granulated sugar. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that into the bigger mixer part of my um, food processor. And I'm going to pulse this until I think it's combined. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add is butter. Um, it says to do four tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of shortening, but I don't have any shortening right now, so I'm going to do seven um, tablespoons of cold butter margin. Don't put it like all in one area, like spread it out so it's even. Okay, so now I'm going to pulse that. Well, no. I'm going to add in um, two to three, four to, four to six tablespoons of water and it sit. And this is about three, two to three tablespoons of water. And what you are also going to add in is a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I don't have my teaspoon handy, so I'm going to pour a little bit into the cap. Probably about three quarters of the cap is a teaspoon. And I'm going to pulse this until it starts to come together, clump up together. Okay guys, so my flour crust has come together. Um, I may need more flour, but right now I'm going to put some flour onto my surface. Um, I just have to go get it across the room real quick, and then I'll be back to roll it out. And then, um, Preferably to chill it overnight, but it still works great if only put into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so I've rolled, well not rolled, but got the dough to be a consistency, the consistency that I want because it, it literally took forever because it was very, very soft at first. But I kept adding more of the gluten-free flour, and now I have it to where it feels like an actual dough, like the regular dough that I make. Um, some things about it, I don't know if it's because of the flour or the apple cider vinegar, but it really has like a weird smell. It might be the flour, because I don't think the apple cider vinegar would do it to make it smell like this but yeah that is um gluten-free pie dough you could probably also use this for like pizza pizza dough but um yeah i'm gonna wrap this in plastic wrap or some people may know that as cling film 
and I'm gonna put it in the um, fridge to refrigerate and I'm just gonna say now thank you for watching remember to subscribe to my channel remember to subscribe to my channel I don't know why I just had a list and like this video thank you